I can't believe that I'm standing here with the boy that I met at a party when I was 15. I remember when we first started seeing each other and you were the guy that would say things like, I don't catch feelings and I can't be tamed. But you were also the guy who took three dates to kiss me. And when you eventually did, you told me that you wanted to kiss me before saying, screw it, I'm going. It was sweet. Awkward and hilarious all at once. And in that moment, I knew that you were catching feelings and you could absolutely be tamed. I still can't believe how lucky I am to have found such a beautiful, smart, loyal, hardworking, stubborn and crazy person to walk alongside me in this life. I remember the day I fell in love for you. When you let your walls down, you showed me a video of you singing a song and I instantly knew you were the one for me. In many ways, Logan and Ben are perfect examples of how opposites attract. They have different interests, strengths and quirks. Together they have learned how their individual approaches to life can complement the other and create a balanced relationship. This is incredibly important to a marriage because real love does not wear rose-coloured lenses. It recognises that your relationship and your life will not always be easy or perfect, but despite that, a future without the other just doesn't make sense. And now here we are, best friends, teammates, fur parents, and in a few minutes, husband and wife. I can stand here today and confidently say that without you, Logan, I would not be where I am today. You have brought me so much happiness into my life. I promise to always have your back, to always make your days full of happiness and laughter, and I will always keep showing up for you, no matter what. We're all a little weird and life is a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and we fall into a mutually satisfying weirdness and we call it love. You got what I'm looking for. You got everything that I want. My sugar and gold. Once I got a piece of this ecstasy. You accept and love me for who I am and you always have. So I promise that I will always be patient with you. Even when your morning alarm has gone off three times and I tell you if it goes off again, I'll punch you. I've been able to see firsthand how much Ben and Logan mean to each other. Their love and commitment to one another has been strong since day one. They have the blueprint of what a loving marriage needs. As you don't marry someone you can live with, you marry someone that you can't live without. The first time I met Ben, I liked him straight away, but I never told him that because I wanted to have a little bit of fear. He's a good dude, but, and, and you know, welcome to the family, Ben. 
thank you for loving the, Logan the way you do and showing her what a true gentleman is. You are the brother I had always wished for. And you truly do, Valerie. Teach each other out. Logs, can I point sis? <laughs> I've always wanted a sister. I know Dad has done the official welcome to the family, um, but you've always been a part of it. Um, since you came into Benny's life, you're a huge part of Ben, um, and that makes you part of us. I promise to always have your back and to make sure no matter how big the hurdle is that I'll be right here next to you through it all. You've taught me how to trust, how to let someone in and what it truly means to fall in love. There's no one in the world like you and I'm so lucky that I'll get to spend the rest of my life appreciating everything, including you, the most unique, <laughs> wonderful, here we and go. terribly handsome man I've ever met. <laughs> We are just two fishies <laughs> that will always keep swimming as long as we're together. Give me some love.